Some of you may know that about four years ago, a county in Georgia thought that the new biology books they had bought for their students were so dangerous in terms of their treatment of evolution that they needed warning stickers on them. And I thought you might be interested. What textbook was so dangerous and so outrageous that it needed a warning sticker? So I figured I'd bring you a picture. There it is. That's the book. And this is the warning sticker. And the warning sticker basically told students the book has material on evolution. Evolution is a theory, not a fact, on the origin of living things. This material should be approached with an open mind, studied carefully and critically considered. Uh, one of my former students, Colin Purrington, who's now at Swarthmore College, was so taken by this wonderful idea of warning stickers that Colin figured, you know, why stop with biology books? We could go a little bit further than that. Um, here, for example, is one that we might use on an earth science book. Uh, pointing out that a lot of people think that the Earth couldn't possibly be four billion years old. You ought to be careful about that. Um, and why stop with Earth science? Um, we could go on to geography. <laughs> uh, the Earth is round. And then finally, my favorite, because I've always been suspicious of physics. Uh, with all due respect to Dr. Krauss, who's in the audience tonight, you physicists have some very strange ideas. Um, for example, a physics textbook's material on gravity. It's worth pointing out that gravity is a theory, not a fact, regarding a force that no one has ever seen. So let me get back to this case and to the sticker in particular. Um, I said I like this sticker, and I do in a sense. It just doesn't go far enough. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, yes, the book does have material on evolution, but a biology book has material on a lot of topics. Why single out evolution? Evolution is a theory. It certainly is. We actually have a chapter entitled Evolutionary Theory, so I agree it's a theory. But when you say it's a theory, not a fact, it makes it sound like theories and facts are opposite things, as if we're really sure of facts and we're not so sure of theories. In fact, theory in science is a higher level of understanding in, than facts, because what theories do is they explain facts, they unite them. And I pointed out to this reporter, if you went to the University of Georgia and you studied atomic physics, you would take a course in atomic theory. There's no time in the future when the professor is going to change the name of that course to atomic fact, because that's not what atomic theory is about. Atomic theory is a system of explanations that explains thousands, tens of thousands of facts about the nature of matter. And that's what evolutionary theory is like, too. But when you get right down to it, the sentence that bothered me the most is actually the third one. And the reporter said, what do you mean? You don't like open-mindedness or critical? I said, no, that's not it at all. Do you know what that third sentence says to a 14-year-old? That third sentence says, we are certain of every single thing in this book except evolution. So apparently, you don't need an open mind to study biochemistry. We don't have to critically consider ecology or cell biology or human physiology. And in reality, if I got a chance to rewrite the sticker, I'd rewrite it like this. This textbook has material on science. Science is built around theories which are strongly supported by factual evidence. Everything in science should be approached with an open mind, studied carefully and critically considered. That's the appropriate emphasis, and that's the sticker that I'd like to see.